initiation ceremony. So I think we'll definitely see the triple advanced uh, Mausolus. Yep, he's going to go for the rush. He's not worried about Siphon, which I would be a little worried about with... I mean, this could be Hate Bear Battle, right? Yep. And it could go really bad. <laughs> but there we go, Temujin. Seen it before. <laughs> It's always nice when you see that right out of the bat or yeah. the 50 card deck. Out of your 50 card deck, as you often do, Luke. <laughs> Very annoying. So, you know what? I think what's going to be key. He's in still this got matchup, an agenda in hand, right? One, but I think it's the hostile, it's right? It's the hostile. Yeah. So he can lose the hostile, no big deal. This deck doesn't even want. He wants to score the hostile last almost. I mean, getting that money, some money's nice, but giving the runner two bad pub to work with is not great either. <laughs> Oh, Aaron Moran off the bat. Is he only have one of those guys? Yep. Wow, that's a nice... There's two counters. That's going to be a lot of draw for this foul deck. The other, I think what's also going to be key for Aaron here is um, if he gets it, uh, counters on any ice, just to sift or parasite that ice. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he might... Aaron, it depends on how Aaron quickly he... Aaron might not he, uh, be familiar with the Trick of Light. Yeah. Titan, but still, he'll probably just sit for whatever ice he can, right? It's the Anarch way nowadays. So he traps this to Anson, which is a not a, it's, a, it's his unfortunate loss for Titan. So yeah, Titan's on the back foot here for sure. I mean, Val's going to be super rich. He's got air encounters. Titan does have the um, the counter on Atlas, which is really big for it, right? So what do you think about? Well, no, there's no way you can res the ice and uh, do that. But if he had, if he had had if he had seen like a you know, a gamble or something in his opening in hand, would you would you use that Atlas counter and just get the other Atlas and get it in that server? Because if he didn't have blackmail turn one... Yeah. yeah, probably. But you also put yourself in a position you definitely couldn't res ice like you are now, right? Like R&D is... There can't be anything really on R&D. Ice wall, maybe. And you don't care about that. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, the Atlas is really powerful in Titan. Once he finds, you know, gets some counters and finds a trick of light or another atlas, he can score it. To so be pretty sure that he's not running clot in this foul deck. Okay, he just scored a hostile for money. No, I think so. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. There he yeah. is. Yeah. I don't think I didn't see, you know, a classic titan in um, their executive. What, what's his name? Oh, uh, uh, he was Mark never Yale. Good. Mark Yale was no, never he's, he's good. good in Titan. No. Oh, I think so. I didn't. I didn't like him in Titan. He was. He was always my first cut when I played Titan. I, don't know. I mean, I'm looking at the. the it's just better deck slots. I'm looking at the the econ, and really, it's three hedge fund, and Grendel refinery with dedication ceremony. That is not strong econ, right? Like you can use the you can lose the Grendel at R and D, and what do you do? The ice isn't expensive. Well, Lotus Field is right. Yeah, Mausolus ain't cheap. Firewall, does, um, Changeling, Arbor. Yeah. yeah, oh, he has a black orchestra. So, Val does have an answer to Lotus Suite, if, a Lotus Field, if it gets it, but not a very easy to find one if no. it gets rezzed. He's, he's got a lot of, he's got a, he has another inject in hand, he's just hitting the street pedal. Yeah, he's getting a lot of drama. Yeah. But having to depend that one. As, as, a, as a person who played a lot of this this kind of build out of Val with the with the street peddlers and I've had worse and everything, you're pretty good. And I didn't even play it with inject. Yeah. So. Okay. So Chrisium. So you've seen the Aaron, you've seen the Temujin. You're pretty sure they're not on Siphon. So you think that goes on R and D? Just to slow them down if they get a medium up. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, he's still sitting on. Well, he's got another ice in hand, but he's still sitting on. He's got the GFI. Yeah, I think he clears that out with Jackson pretty fast. But and he knows that Aaron has a blackmail. He injected one into hand. Yeah. So so yeah, he can't do anything on the in the remote. We well, certainly can't GFI on the remote. He could never advance, I guess. He doesn't have my favorite tech card against Val Surratt City Grid, and it's even in faction. <laughs> he could just run the emails. I, <laughs> I guess with no assets in, in hand. Well, he's hostiles too, right? So he's up to two bad pub now. Yeah. 
He's only, he's only used one air encounter. Oh, he's going, he's going for the push right away. He doesn't even bother to get a second virus. I don't mind that play. I like that. Yeah, you, I mean, you make him spend the money to rest the ice. Okay, he's got the Anson for the for the adding counters. That's good. Another Christium. I think Val's pretty rich for two bad pub. Resing the Christium's almost almost a waste of time. Because it's going to co cost her the same it costs you to trash it. As to res it. Oh, he's yeah, got he, the Atlas. He needs a trick of light. He needs some counters. I think he's to start building up counters. I, I like this. I think he should try to bait the blackmail. Yeah. And is that a Nansen? No, it's a Jackson in the server. Uh, but I almost wonder if... I mean, he doesn't have enough money right now, but he needs to get some counters on that ice. Because that's his outright. Trick of light into that Atlas. Oh, so, he, so Aaron bites? Yep. Yeah, he definitely use. Val can afford the one credit after that hook. The medium out, I mean, what breakers does he have access to, the Val, have you noticed? Uh, I, didn't I, don't, I don't know what's on the street peddler, yeah. and there doesn't seem like there's any conspiracy breakers in the bin, so... He's but, only he's only running one paperclip. Because looking at... Ooh, really interesting. Yeah, it's one paperclip, one black orchestra, two mimic, and And he's one got yog. seven barriers. Yeah. But he can't. Af he can only afford to rest three of them. Really. I mean, he can afford to, but he'd be broke if he rest a big barrier. I mean, Macrophage would be his best. best. Oh, oh he has to res the that is going to get some work done. Yeah. Now he's got to find... Oh, does he have the Black Orchestra on the Peddler? I mean, he's looking. He must, right? Yeah. Oh, oh SMC. SMC. That's why he's got one paper clip. Yeah. Got one paper clip. Yeah. Oh, and there is his paper clip. So he's got access to two breakers now. Too bad pub to use with the SMC, which he didn't use. So let's hope he only pays one here. Yeah, there he goes. Oh yeah, and if that means that uh, Lotus Field's a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Yeah, so he can just run four times now, or whatever clicks he has yeah. left. Woof, and he can't really purge because he'll just go right back with four. Yeah, things have turned all the way bad for Titan right now. So the Peddler was on the SMC. Wow, that was a good hit for that Peddler, W1 SMC. Yeah, and, the best. and it got the SMC and the paperclip. So that's a very good Peddler. Yeah. Probably your best thing you could have found. <laughs> okay, what happened to all his money? Oh, he just moved it over? Yeah, so yeah, I think it's no. down here at the bottom. Five dots and four stars. Pretty rich. <laughs> Yeah, and that's something I, I've always found it funny when Corpse put the bad pub on their side. Yeah. Like, I guess they have bad pub and can potentially remove it, but... He's, got, he's it, got two credits and a hedge fund, always depressing. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got to put up ice. Okay, he puts, what did he put on the remote? Christian Grid. Or the Cyberdex. He might have found the Cyberdex, but he, probably the Christian Grid. But he can't res it. Like, him resing it just puts him farther back from the hedge fund. His hope is, I yeah. guess, that Val trashes it. Well, but Val's got enough. He's got four bucks left on the. Oh, I know. I've got his daily cast ticking down. Like Val's definitely in the driver's seat. You know, he's in a he's in a classic anarch, oppressive situation for Titan. And slums just for extra oomph. I don't think he needs against Titan, but. Yeah, that's just a speed I mean, bump at this point. Given this situation, do you do you Atlas token the Atlas in? Into hand? You're so poor, but at the same time, like, what are your outs here? Like, um, I mean, if you were if you had more than one credit, like, let's say you didn't res that Christian. Oh, you still only have four. You can't res the ice. Yeah, yeah he need, just needs more money. Like, he, and I don't think he's gonna get it because he won't get a Grendel. And, he's, and he can't hedge fund again. Yeah. And he has no he has no counters for FA. It's it's basically over. At he's this got point. four clickless draw. Yeah. 
I mean, he'll purge, obviously. So Aaron's down to one dollar. What did he spend? Uh, he's trashed the prison grid and, and ran. Uh, ran. So one, one draining one dollar each time. Yeah. Okay, so you have to purge. Like. Oh, is that a macro fade? It is, but you can't you can't install it and pay for it. So no. you have to purge and just next turn. Like you're just gonna lose if you don't purge. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta purge. Then it's gonna be slow. It's purge. Click for three. Very hard. Yeah. Come back. Click for three. Click, click for, for one. one. Hedge fund. Uh, stall macro fade. <laughs> and you gotta hope Val doesn't crush you with medium before then. Because he's at three, he can be at seven, he can run twice, three times. So as Val, as a Val player, you just run back three times. Uh, he doesn't have quite enough money. I well, you know. take, you take your, you can take your liberated, right? And you're oh, now he's got enough money. Oh, oh, Temujin on Temujin yeah. on R and D is gonna oh solve that problem God. right quick. Take your liberated, Temujin on R and D. Run twice, or run once, I guess. Next turn, run four times. It's interesting they ejected there because he has four Aaron. He's got four Aaron counters, right, and not a ton of money. I mean, ended up making a credit, but I think what may come into play is if the if he can survive this turn and get that macrophage up. Yeah. Oh yes. Then it, no, but it may come down to whether or not Aaron gets uh, blackmail. We have to survive this turn and the next. Yeah. <laughs> it's really what is he lucky enough he hits the CVS? I think is his only hope at this point. So he's got to click for three credits and then hedge fund next turn and macrophage. The macrophage would be huge. Yeah. Like I don't, I think he could. Oh, it's prohibitively expensive with Black Orchestra. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But I think he could fight the important traces. Like he might not get to trash the medium, which we'd love to do, right? But oh no, oh no, oh, oh, no. The, 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 the credit, <laughs> Eric. Credit. We're rooting for you, Eric. You got no choice, but man, don't install the Chrysium. Oh. Yeah, there's a Temujin. So you can block a Temujin, but he'll just trash it and come back and get more Temujin money. Again, I, I would res it and I wouldn't res it and see if he trashes it anyway. But he has Temujin money, so. Okay, now he's using the air encounters. Access to plenty of parasites, but. <laughs> and for anyone who's wondering that. Uh, Mark's server is what Victor of, v, of VTG Live uh, had made for Canadian Nationals. So everyone who went to Canadian Nationals got one of those Mark servers tokens, which is pretty cool. Oh, and he's going to slums it too. He, and he's reminding him that he slums the, the last, last one. one. Yeah. So I don't know if I would. If he gets another one, I'll say just install it. And he has, and he has just enough money to come back in and start the cycle up over again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now he's... I feel like our dreams of seeing a triple advance mausolus are... Uh, yeah, and now he's, he's you know, two turns away from that hedge fund. Yeah. We're seeing... Okay, well he survived that turn, but he can't, now he's at zero credits, he can't purge. You click for three credits and you pray, I guess. At this point, I would definitely think about getting that uh, Atlas into hand. Well, he, he can't even defend HQ though. Yeah, but what, yeah, but at least you're not getting, um, at least he's not mediuming. Like, every time he runs HQ is one less time he's running for medium, right? But he, ha he also has agendas in hand. He has a GFI uh, uh, in hand, so it's not... I mean, as, as viewers on the stream know, this is a, just a terrible situation for, <laughs> for Titan. One, two, three, this should be a quick turn. Yeah. 
No, that installing that uh, Chrysium was a, a big mistake. And even getting that bad pub, I mean, the money helped, but not as much as it helped Val. Like, Val's made way more than seven credits after that extra bad pub. Because that Lotus Field is decent taxing on the Black Orchestra without the two bad pub, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, as you're, as you're often uh, heard to say, that like the discrepancy between what you get in a 2-1 for breaking news versus a 2-1 for yeah. hostile is not quite there. Because chances are the runner uses okay, that so at least seven times. Dedication ceremony, can he do that? A non advanced No, you, you, I think it needs to be a card that can be advanced, you know? I'd have to double check, honestly. It might not be. It might be play three agenda counters on any card. Victor? And if it is, I can see this play. He wants to just score the Atlas spot. Because he can score from one credit. But then what does he do? I'm just looking up. Does dedication ceremony have to be a card that can be admitted? Or can it be any card? Get somebody here! Yeah. yeah. I would, um, yeah, I can see his line here. I guess, you know, any 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 viable plan is as good as any other viable plan right now facing this many minion counters. So I think what he's oh, yeah, going to... It's placed three advancement tokens on a face-up card. Yeah, so obviously Eric knew better than us exactly what it said. Um, so I think his line here is he's, he can score the Atlas from one credit with Trick of Light. So he does that. So he, he does that. He um, scores the Atlas with the Trick of Light next turn. Then he credits up and it scores a hostile off the Atlas token. Right? That's. I mean, in two turns he could win if he survives, but that's unlikely. No, he can't score. He's already scored the hostile, so he needs to. Oh, the hostiles are all gone. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's like not well, even no, a line he, he can take. Yeah. Even then, he wouldn't. Uh, he still needs to score. Uh, yeah. yeah. We well, scored the Atlas first for Trick of Light. But with no hostile, he's in trouble. So, yeah. Okay, now he's going in with the nerve agent. This is <laughs> oh. this is just brutality on poor Titan. Yeah, he's gonna tr trash all his money. Yeah, thin out, so, the, thin out the hand. That means next turn he sees everything. Well, no, but I, I actually I'm not so sure. This I might have just gone hard. Yeah, oh, there, gosh. there. Oh, he had the out of his hand already. Yeah, I didn't see it. I think you got to go in if you still have time. To CRD here too, because it's just it's too oppressive to not purge, right? Yeah. But he's on one credit again. Where, so like, what who, where are his credits? Aaron's right there. Oh, Aaron's on oh, zero. Yeah, Aaron's on zero. Huh. But he can just credit up and get the Tamuji money. Like, yeah. Yeah. Click once, run through the Lotus. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Titan did not invest in the right. Uh, <laughs> It, it went bankrupt as a bank. It went to had its yeah. uh, nine yeah. so. Titan is not too big to fail. Yeah, definitely. I think that if he could have got that macrophage, I agree with the chat. It would have been a big, big swing, or at least held off the impending disaster. But he just is too low credit for too long. I think the Chrisiums were not a good idea. They stopped this will one, probably do it right one medium here. counter, but drained all his money. So what do we have left in there? One GFI, two geothermal frackings, and one atlas. And a Kronos project, so there's plenty to win on. When you're going to see six cards, you figure that's plenty to win. <laughs> Corp on four credits. Staring at that edge fund in their hand over and over again. And the macrophage, yeah. Yeah. So earlier I... And even if he gets the macrophage off, Val can just blackmail it. Too, yeah. Right? For the, seeing a lot more. And now he's going to see the whole, you know, the cards. Nothing in there, but... Oh, I think there might still be a GFI. I didn't see it in his hand. Oh, okay. I think Jackson did out. Yeah. I, I think we've got a we've got a wild Alex on the stream. It looks like. Yeah, there's a uh, GFI. 